<laughs> I, your style changes. Uh, at it's I heard you it, It's like a whisper. I heard some of it. Bring the bottles, bitches. Come and tell them hoes I'm in a hurry. Y'all can stay over. Just put your clothes on. Leave out in the morning. And um, it sound good. <laughs> it's dope. Um, I'm enchanting. Sounds like a whisper. Who started this sound first? <laughs> Me and my Glock went in the same cause we both got extensions And don't you try give me your heart cause I got bad intentions <laughs> What do you think? I'm, I'm asking I'm gonna answer your question but what do you think? I just want, I know when she didn't rap like that when she went over to Gucci 1017 What that being said is I ain't never said shit bad about her We had a conversation Ain't no problems It's just the fact that I said I just want credit, I want respect Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, like, when I opened up for No Cap the other day, I'm like, I done opened up for Lil Baby, when his, one of his biggest shows. You feel me? And, like, before he became big, big now, like, you know, I'm like, damn, that shit was big. But at the time, I'm like, all right, whatever, what's next? So do you, um, when you think about it, um, just uh, the things that you've accomplished, man, you send trends for, like, younger kids, younger girls, that, that they're going to look to you in the future as somebody to look up to, something that they can achieve, even the ones that didn't finish school. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, like, what that being said is, I want to start, like, a cheerleading squad, but I be looking at my videos and shit, I be like, damn, they gon the parents might be like, she talk about guns and da, 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 all that other shit, and I be like, shit, gonna, thug, baby, Wayne, everybody, like, they do shit for the community all the time. Like, Megan Thee Stallion, she talk about a whole bunch of crazy shit. She got a key to the city mm -hmm. in Houston. You feel me? Like, just shit like that. So now I'll be like, I could do whatever. You ever but think I, about balancing it, though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Both? Yeah, like, now it comes to a point. At, at first, when I started rapping, I didn't think about shit. I was in the hell having fun. I'm rapping, rhyming, saying whatever the fuck I want to say, whatever, cool. Now I come to a point where I'm like, all right, let's create. You know, let's see where we can go. Like, I like making beats with people. I like trying new shit. Like, even if I don't like it, it comes to shit. It comes to points where I be like, "This sound cool, but not for me." You know, I'll come up with a flow for somebody else, or somebody rap it. I be like, "Hey, say this." You know, like or go like this. Just shit like that. At first, music was just fun. <laughs> I, your style changes. Uh, at it's I heard you it, It's like a whisper. I heard some of it, and. Um, it sound good. <laughs> it's dope. Um, I'm enchanting sounds like a whisper. Who started this sound first? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm asking. I'm, I'm gonna answer your question. But what do you think? I just want. I know when she didn't rap like that when she went over to Good Ten Seventeen. What that being said is, I ain't never said shit bad about her. We had a conversation. Ain't no problems. It's just the fact that I said I just want credit. I want respect. It's just a lot of shit that I feel like I did influence. She said she don't feel like she's influenced by my sound. Mm. But she, she said that. Yeah. But um, she said she raps low because she sings low. It's so whatever. But um, like I said, I just know that her sound changed when she went to. Like I just said, um, <laughs> I, just want, I just want some credit, respect. <laughs> you know, I ain't no. Like I said, I ain't never say shit bad about old girl, but we know. You type in my name on Twitter, you type in our names together. You can see who did it first. Not even that. Like that's why I, said, I don't beef with nobody. Let, let me let me clear. Put this shit first. Let me clarify this. <laughs> I don't beef with nobody. I ain't got beef with nobody. Um, I like receipts. I like facts. I like just respect, like I said. Um, that's it. Just receipts. I got receipts for whatever. I ain't say shit, but I know what the fuck I did, and I know what's going on. You know, my, my sound was influenced known. by Pablo. Okay. Pablo, Gunu, shit like that. Uh, respect. I used to listen to them. Um, the song, Lil Quail, um... Young Ma, phone book, too many wrecks in my phone book. Uh, at that time, I started rapping crazy. That's what influenced my sound, shit like that. So I, you know, I could say, I could say that. But um, me as a female, females wasn't coming like that. They didn't know if that shit was cool or not. I did an interview, um, and I said I was just talking about this in the car. I did an interview, and um, in the interview, I was like, that's what stamp make me different because, like, I rap like a nigga, and mm -hmm. they were like, girls was 
dragging me. They talking about you need a man's approval to rap. You do this mm. shit for men. Like you don't have to down another woman around. I'm like, I'm not like shit. I, in the club, turn on some Megan Thee Stallion. I'm a twerk. I might not turn it on on a daily basis, but ain't no problem with no other female rappers. Like you know, shit like that. So it's just they try to make everything you say negative, and yeah. it's just the fact. I'm talking about me and what I do. But with that being said, I got my flow from me. It's influenced by who I said. And whoever come after me is after me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.